Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm really excited for today's video because today I'm bringing back my liquid lipstick review series. It has been at least a year, possibly years, since I filmed a liquid lipstick review video and I actually really miss filming those. They do take a lot of dedication because you're literally like not filming for eight hours but throughout the course of the day it takes up eight hours of your time. Regardless, I really miss filming those videos and Beauty Bakery just launched in Ulta so I picked up one of their lip whips in the shade Ginger Snap and that is the liquid lipstick we are going to be testing out today. So I personally am really, really excited. I know I've bought a lip whip in the past but I actually ended up decluttering it before I even tried it. I purchased a shade that was just way too dark, one that I would never wear, but this is definitely a shade that's right up my alley. When I swatched this the other day, I will say the swatch was on my hand for two days, even with like washing my hands and scrubbing them. So I have a feeling this is going to be a long lasting formula. I'm just curious to see how drying it's going to be. So if you guys are interested in learning a little bit more about the Beauty Bakery lip whips, as well as seeing how it wears, then just keep watching. Alright guys, so for these videos, basically I'm going to be testing this for a full 8 hours. I did go in today before I went in with like any of my makeup and I exfoliated my lips using the Sugar Plum Fairy Lip Scrub. I personally have super super dry lips so I have to exfoliate my lips every day but I would always recommend exfoliating your lips before going in with a liquid lipstick just so you can get the best use out of your liquid lipstick. Then I also went in with my Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask to hydrate my lips before going in with a liquid lipstick. Again, it's very, very important that you hydrate your lips before going in with a liquid lipstick because this is just going to better the performance of the liquid lipstick. Like I said, I'm going to be testing this for a full eight hours of wear. I will check in with you guys at the four hour mark and give you more information about these liquid lipsticks. The way that I do these videos was definitely inspired by Stephanie Nicole and her liquid lipstick review series. So I'll leave her channel and her liquid lipstick review playlist down below for you guys. She is incredible. I'm sure you guys have heard of her. She's such an amazing YouTuber and such an inspiration. So. I'll leave her information linked down below. But before popping this on my lips, I just want to really quick read the description off of the Ulta website about this specific liquid lipstick to you guys. It says, if you're wanting to spice things up a bit without worrying about touching up later, Ginger Snap is what you need. A burnt orange color, Ginger Snap can vary slightly depending on your undertone. Long lasting, smudge proof, and waterproof. Don't worry about eating your makeup with Beauty Bakery's lip whips. They stay on your lips, not your food. Apply your lip whip and leave it at home. Don't worry about reapplying. And the benefits of this are everything that I just read and then it also says they are also vegan. So that being said, I have wiped off my Bite Beauty lip mask and we are gonna go ahead and apply these. I don't typically do lip liner, you guys, so we're not gonna do a lip liner today. Um, this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. It has that hole in the center of it similar to the NARS Power Matte Pigments as well as the, I think the Smashbox, um, always on liquid lipsticks have holes in the middle of, middle of their doe foot too. And then as you can tell, this doe foot is slightly angled. So let's go ahead and see how it applies. Let me zoom you guys in. My camera stopped recording literally like right as I touched this to my lip. So we're going to start again. I like that this has the doe foot has like a pointy tip to it. So it's like easier to be more precise. I will say it's taking like dipping in a couple times just to get enough product, but that's fine. Okay, so pretty thin consistency. I almost want to say it's like in between a liquidy formula as well as like a whipped mousse texture. It's like a really interesting texture that I've never felt from a liquid lipstick before. It is just a little bit sticky as it's drying down. However, it's drying down very, very quickly. It definitely applied super, super opaque. I didn't feel like I had to go over anything twice and it didn't apply streaky as at all. I just feel like there's like one area I didn't apply so precisely. That's like really gonna bug me. 
I don't feel the need to do a second layer or anything like that. The only thing I will say about this is I felt like I had to dunk in a few times to get enough product to cover my lips, but I'm not complaining. That's I'd rather have to dunk in a couple times and get too much product and have lipstick all over my face. As far as the color is concerned, I am well obsessed with it. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful color, especially for the fall time. So can't complain at all about the color. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I really have to say about these before I go about my day. I don't think that there is. As always, you guys, if there's ever any questions you have that I don't answer in the video, please leave a comment below and I will definitely get back to you with an answer if I can. But other than that, it is currently 9.27 a.m. I will check back in with you guys at about 1.30 and we will see how these are wearing. All right, you guys, welcome back. It is 1.20. It has been about four hours now since I originally put this on. And I gotta say, I'm so far not impressed. Let me zoom you guys in so that you can see the wear away really quick. So as you can see, first of all, my lips look like raisins, but there's so much wear away specifically on my bottom lip here. So I will say that I drank a hot cup of coffee as well as drank out of my Hydro Flask water bottle. And then I also had some noodles with avocado oil on them and like feta cheese, which might be when I noticed like the most wear away. But that was about the two hour mark. This is been wearing away since the two hour mark it has gotten progressively worse from two to four from like the two hour mark to the four hour mark and overall i'm just like not impressed at all i am lucky that this lip color sort of like blends in well with my lips because if this was like a darker shade or a lighter shade that you could really see the wear away in my lips i would be looking so so crazy right now this also has proven to be a very very drying formula i've noticed myself licking my lips a lot however what i will say is for me personally i don't typically mind to like reapply lip products and i really do enjoy this color so i would be willing to put like a balm over this or a lip gloss to help combat that but the point of this video is not to do that i'm obviously not touching up putting chapstick lip gloss or anything like that on this for the full eight hours and then at the next check-in i'll show you guys how this reapplies so you can kind of tell if it's easy to reapply or if it looks horrible reapplied i will say i feel like this has come kind of come off in flakes and i feel like it just makes my lips look so super super dry that being said we'll jump into a little bit of info about these so like i said these are so like I said, this is from Beauty Bakery, which is now available at Ulta. So you can pick these up on the Beauty Bakery website, or you can pick them up on Ulta right now. They are $20 for one liquid lipstick, which is very, very pricey. They have a 12-month shelf life, and it comes with 0.14 ounces of product. In comparison to Dose of Colors, liquid lipstick retails for $18, and you get 0.16 ounces of product in there. So you're getting a little bit less product. It's been so long since I've done a liquid lipstick formula review that I kind of forget what the standard is. There are nine different shades to choose from and they're all named after like desserts or like foods or things like that which I think is super super cute. The packaging is really cute so you get this frosted glass or frosted it's actually plastic you get the frosted plastic tube it has the golden beauty bakery one and then it has the cute teal cap so i think the actual packaging is really really cute and then on the inside it almost looks like i don't want to say like a candy cane but it does look like an actual like whipped baked good product so i mean a plus plus on the packaging i think they nailed it with that it also has a lip whip sort of like engraved but not engraved it's like raised on the cap so i really think they put a lot of thought and energy into their packaging i think the brand as a whole puts a lot of thought into like their overall like marketing their packaging and marketing and what they're naming their products i think is just superb i will say again this sort of is like flaking off my lips and i noticed a little bit of transfer onto my coffee cup when i was drinking it and a little bit of like flakes on my Hydra Flask. So I don't think that this is 100% transfer proof. Um, I haven't like splashed water on my face and I would say like it does appear to be smudge proof. Like if I go like this, it flakes off on my hand, however. However, it's not really like smudging down onto my actual face. So I do feel like it is smudge proof, but it doesn't 
appear to be long lasting by any means thus far. I think that's all the information I have for you guys about the product right now. Again, I ordered this off Ulta, so I don't really have information about like cost of shipping from the Beauty Bakery website, nor do I have information about how long it takes to ship if you order from Beauty Bakery. I do know some Ultas are carrying certain Beauty Bakery products in store, but I think it's only select stores. So I just ordered mine off of line. That being said, I'm going to go about the rest of my day for another four hours and I will check back in with you guys at the eight hour mark. We'll see how this reapplies and then I'll give you my final thoughts and opinions on the Beauty Bakery lip whips. All right, you guys, it is 5.08. It has been just about eight hours and I'm going to zoom you guys in in just a minute to show you the wear away. Between the last check-in and now, all I've done is drink one more cup of hot coffee and then I've also just been sipping water out of my hydro flask and I did have one bag of these like little pop chips but other than that I haven't had anything to eat so this wear away has been pretty much just from like wearing away so this is what we're looking like here as you can tell it's not looking good and if you can imagine I went to the grocery store looking like this so that was cute the one thing I will say that's nice is this does wear away nicely, but I feel like part of that is because of the color. Like, I feel like if this was a darker color, we would be like a wreck right now. Like, we would be looking all sorts of hot messy. So what I'm going to do now is see how this reapplies. Because if it, if it reapplies okay, then like, you can just bring this with you. I will say the formula got more and more drying as the hours went on. It's been so long since I've worn a, lip, a liquid lipstick for that long. I was pretty uncomfortable. Okay, but we're going to see how this applies. I didn't notice any transfer like or bleeding like down my face, so that is a positive for this. I know some liquid lipsticks can like bleed outside your lip lines, which is super annoying. Okay, so that did appear to reapply really nicely. I didn't get any sort of like weird flaking or pilling or clumping up or anything like that. And we're pretty much back in business on the lips. So overall, my thoughts and opinions on this. This is definitely not my favorite liquid lipstick formula, but it's not so horrible that I won't not wear this. I really do like the shade of this, so I definitely do plan to wear this on days that I feel like wearing a shade like this, and if they were to release another shade or if they have another shade in their range that I really like, I would consider picking it up. I do think $20 is a little bit expensive for this, especially considering the dose of colors, you're getting a slightly more product at a slightly lesser cost, and I do feel like the dose of colors formula is just way more comfortable so if this was a little bit cheaper i would feel more comfortable recommending it if you're like a liquid lipstick lover and you don't mind a dry formula i wouldn't then i would say go for it like if there's a shade out there that you really like definitely go for it but if you don't like a drying formula and you're not like super super into liquid lipsticks and there's not a color in there that like is super unique that you just have to have then i'd probably say to skip just because of the way just because of the longevity of wear and just how drying it is i would say unless you can handle the dryness and unless there's a color that just like is speaking to you that you can't find anywhere else then i would probably skip this you guys will have to let me know though in the comments if you've tried the beauty bakery lip whips and what your thoughts are or if you've tried anything else from beauty bakery i know i just picked up their highlighting palette as well so i'm really interested to test that out i've been interested in their foundation but i kind of overwhelmed or my foundation collection is a bit overwhelming right now so I'm waiting to test that out. Other than that if you have any questions about this liquid lipstick that I did not answer in the video leave me a comment down below and I'll get back to you. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to do so before you go and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!